Hey, Mark Rice here, and if you love simple animations, then I have something for you. The tutorial is simple and chill, so be ready for an easy ride. Ok, andiamo ragazzi! Before we start we need to do some preparation for the animation. We need to pair some chains for the WAN body. And before I start with it, I will select the WAN body layer and change the colors. Because in that way it will be easy for me to focus on that. And here it will be main animation. So it's important. Ok, so now it's time to pair these shapes. I will do that with the first layer. So hold this icon and parent it with the WAN body layer. I will do that with this layer as well. Now hold the control keyboard button, select the lights. I don't need it for the wheels, but I need for the peg one, peg two and peg three. So parent it with the WAN body. This is exactly what I need. The second step is anchor point. So I need to change the anchor point for the WAN. And I will do that when I select pen behind and just move the anchor point. And I will do that for the wheels as well. Ok, so basically that's it. Now I can animate the WAN. But I need to prepare the background as well. So I will select background objects and create a pre-composition from it, because I want to duplicate this layer, prepare it for the loop animation. So select the layer, go here and choose pre-composition. It will be background objects. Ok. Now here, as you can see, I have the pre-composition, double click on it. Now we are in the pre-composition, duplicate the layer with Ctrl plus D, and I need to change the size of the pre-composition. So go into Composition, then select Composition Settings. And here it needs to be a little more than a double, so it can be 4000. Move it here. And the second layer, move here. Now back in the main composition. Ok, go on the start. Ok, so first I need to animate the background, because I need to be sure that I'm doing that right. And the duration of the animation, it can be, I don't know, for example, one second. We will see. Or maybe 20 frames. It's enough. Ok, so select the background objects layer and go on the first frame and create the first keyframe for the position. So hit P on the keyboard and create the first then go on the last frame and create the second keyframe. But there I need to move the position of the objects. So we will see. Okay, let me check. Okay, not bad, but I need to change the direction. So. So the last keyframe on, will be on the first frame and the first keyframe on the last frame. I just swap the position of the keyframes, let me check. Ok, mission completed. Now it's time for the... I will save it later. Now it's time for the vein. And first I will animate this rectangle here. This rectangle represents the glow on the window. So I will move it here and create the first keyframe for it on the first frame. So select that layer and hit the P on the keyboard, then create the first keyframe. And the second keyframe will be in the middle of the animation. No, for glow it will be at that. Ok, and for the second keyframe I will move it here. So let me check. Ok. Select all the keyframes and hit F9 for the smooth animation. So I will do that for all the keyframes except the background, because the background is something else. And the second part of this part of the animation is that I need to limit the visibility inside of the WAN window. So I will copy the WAN windows layer and use it as a mask. Or duplicate it with Ctrl plus D. 
and I will rename it because I need to know that it's the mask. Then move it above the glass glow, then select the glass glow down layer and here select alpha matte when windows mask. Okay, beautiful. Now the shadow of the wind, so select the shadow layer, hit T on the keyboard for the opacity and it will be, I don't know, 25% or 35, we will see. And for the animation I will use the size of the shadow, so hit S on the keyboard, create the first keyframe and the second will be in the middle of the animation because I want to create a loop from it. Here unlocked these sizes and here it said 100, it can be 95. For example, we will see. Okay. And look at this. It's not right. So I can do that in two ways. First, I can copy the first keyframe on the last frame of the animation or create ping pong expression. But this animation needs to be very simple, so I will do this in this way. Select all the keyframes and hit F9. Now let me check. Okay, it's much better. Now I will animate the wheels and it will be very easy because I don't want to use some rotation. I want to just play with the size. So select front wheels and the back wheel layer, hit S on the keyboard and create the first keyframes for the scale. And in the middle of the animation, I locked this. It will be, I don't know, 95 instead of 100. We will see. Maybe I need to boost it a bit so it will be 90. And for the last keyframe, I will duplicate the first one. Or copy it with Ctrl plus C and paste it with Ctrl plus V. And I will do that with the back wheel as well. Select all the layers and hit F9. We will see. Okay, beautiful, I like it. Now the when body. So instead of position, I can do that with the rotation settings. And later I can add some position animation as well. So first rotation. So click the when body and hit the air keyboard button and create the first keyframe. Here it can be 2 and for the second keyframe it can be minus 2, minus 2. I will copy the first keyframe on the last frame F9 and let me check, okay. <laughs> okay, it's cute. Okay, so I don't want to mess with the position. Rotation is enough. And one more thing and then I will animate these bags here. Select the bags layers, hit P on the keyboard and create the first keyframes for the position. I can move it down a bit and in the middle, up. Okay, so for this animation it will be more easier to do this with ping pong expressions. It's a great opportunity to show you both ways for the animation. So I will select all the keyframes and hit F9 for the smooth animation. Then I want to create an expression here. So select the big one layer, hold out on the keyboard and click this stopwatch icon here. And here type loop, select loop out. Okay, double click here and here. Okay, ping pong. And I need to do that for all the bags. So select the expression, select the bag to layer, hold out that stopwatch icon and copy the expression and do that for the bag tree layer as well. Now let me check. It's smooth and nice. And it will be more interesting if you, for example, move the first layer here and move the second layer here. So basically here, 
the second keyframe will become the first one. So let me check. Look at this dynamic. Beautiful. And maybe isn't time for windshield, but I will animate too. It will be more interesting if we add one more animation. But before that, I want to change the anchor point of it. Okay, beautiful. Create the first keyframe for the rotation. So hit the air keyboard button. Create the first keyframe and in the middle of the animation, second. Okay, like this. And here I will copy the first one. Select all the keyframes and hit F. F9. Okay. Let me check. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, that's it for today. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe because soon I will publish more animation tutorials. And if you want to use all my illustrations for your projects, including this illustration from this tutorial, check out gigantic.store or the link down below. And if you visit my Patreon page, you can watch even more animation tutorials from me. So that's it for today. I hope that you like it. In any case, stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.